welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get your miner and your antivirus software to work properly together. So you don't have to uninstall your antivirus software. You just need to add your miner to an exclusion list so it's not being blocked from running. And I'm gonna show you how to do that and we're gonna take a look at that right now. In this example, we're gonna use two very popular tools. We're gonna to be using the NiceHash Miner and Malwarebytes as the antivirus program. So NiceHash, when you execute it and you have an antivirus program in your computer, you'll typically see an error message like this where it says malware being blocked. Now, the way we need to do that is we have to first remove it from quarantine before we can exclude it. Now, before you can exclude the folder, you need to find out where it's installed. So in this case, you're using NiceHash. And what we're gonna do is we're opening up our file explorer and we're gonna look for it. Now I know where it's located, uh, but you can easily do this on a quick Google search. So it's in the C drive under users. We're gonna check this box to make sure we can see it. Then inside app data under local. And then here we're gonna look for a program. So I'm just gonna double click on programs. And in here you can see that there's a nice hash minor folder. My other miners are also located in here as well for future reference if you want to know where they are. So then here is the address. So we're going to copy this address and we need to paste it into our antivirus software. So I'm going to open up my antivirus software. In Malwarebytes, I'm going to click on notifications and then I'm going to select the last one, which is the nice hash miner. And you can see it's here at quarantine. So we're going to select it and then click on restore and then click on yes. And now we're going to allow it by clicking on settings and then going over to the allow list, click on add, and then we're gonna select a file or folder. We're gonna do the entire folder, so we can select a folder by clicking on it, and then we can go up to the top and just paste the address that we have, and then hit enter. And now here it is, this is everything for NiceHash. We can select the folder, and we're gonna exclude, all, exclude from all detections, and then click on done. And now it's been added, and now everything within this folder is gonna be allowed to run on the PC. It'll be ignored by the antivirus software. So let's start up NiceHash, let's go by the start menu, type in NiceHash, we'll just right click on it, run as administrator, say yes to the prompt, and it's gonna execute it and it'll begin running. And we'll just click on the play button to begin the miner and it should start running on its own. There we go. So NiceHash is up and running. Uh, if we've bypassed the antivirus software. It's a simple step. Um, it gets a little tedious if you don't know exactly where it is. So depending on the miner that you're using, do a quick Google search just to find the, the path that it's installed. So I hope you found this useful. A lot of people are having issues with miners being blocked. This is somewhat straightforward if you know where it's installed. And if you don't know where it's installed, you might have to do a quick Google search for the miner that you're using. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.